Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Hello, I'm Rachel Jones and this is Calkine TV's Trending News. An Australian regulator has sent illegal letters to Twitter and Google telling them to hand over information about their efforts to stop online child abuse, drawing them into a crackdown that's already put pressure on other global tech firms. The action by the country's e-safety commissioner, Julie Iman Grant, keeps a spotlight on the anti-exploitation practices at Twitter under the ownership of billionaire Elon Musk, who called child protection his top priority, while also laying off more than half of his employees since taking over last October. She had served as a public policy director for Twitter until 2016 and said the responses of larger tech firms coupled with reports of looser content moderation at Twitter since Musk took over prompted her to take action. Twitter closed its Australian office after Musk's buyout. Apart from writing to Twitter, the commissioner also sent letters to Alphabet Inc.'s Google, owner of YouTube and the file storage unit Google Drive and China's TikTok. Google's senior manager of government affairs and public policy, Samantha York, said abuse material had no place on the company's platforms. TikTok's policy manager for Australia, Jed Horner, says the company had a zero-tolerance approach to dissemination of abuse material with more than 40,000 safety professionals globally. Under new laws in Australia, the Safety Commissioner can compel internet companies to give detailed information about the frequency of child exploitation on their platforms and about measures they take to stamp it out. Companies that fail to cooperate face fines of up to $700,000 per day. Well, that's the latest from Calkine TV's Trending News. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.